Hello, and a very pleasant good day to you wherever you may be. So we are back. Both of us are back now, right, Gabriel? Back from... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's back right. From, back from what? We're back from the future. Yeah. So welcome to this special Cooperstown Bound video where today we're going to change it up a little bit again. You guys really seem to like the Dude Perfect video that we did a few months back. That is actually our most viewed video to date. So we are going to send out another Dude Perfect homage, video. yes, yeah. yeah, to the guys, to the five guys today. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about? Yeah. Uh, we we had a chance to actually go see Dude Perfect. Yeah, um, so a little over a week ago. We saw them at Only Arena in Tampa, and it was fun. I mean, we got pretty close. We weren't sitting too close to them, but we saw them, and they did like battles and overtime and stuff, and it was fun. So. Today we're going to be doing the top 10 uh, cool not cool items of all time. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of really cool items. There's like 150 cool not cool items ever and I basically went through the research and crossed off yeah. all the ones that shouldn't be there. Gabriel did hours of research for this video. And then literally. and then also like we went through and made the top 10 and we have three uh kind of honorable mentions, but they're really just like uh, items that got a super cool but didn't make the list. So we're going to start off with those. And the first one is the auto-tune karaoke machine that Corey brought. And this one didn't make the list because I feel like it's not that rare. There's probably a lot of them out there and it's cool, but it might be a little annoying at points. Yeah. And, and also I felt like if I sang an auto tune, it would still sound bad. So, yeah. So that that's another reason why. So what's our what's our next honorable so, mention, or maybe dishonorable mention? The second honorable mention is the air cannon that I'm pretty sure Corey brought. Also, now this is cool. It got a super cool, but it's not like as cool as the ones on the list. And it it shoots those little like rings of smoke. It's it's cool, but I mean, it's a it's. It's not as cool as it is. I think we actually saw a video that they used that on their first road tour. Yeah, they in 2019. Actually, yeah, they brought it out on stage and were shooting smoke rings over the crowd in one of the arenas. So, mm -hmm. All right, our third honorable mention, and this is one, honestly, we were kind of looking at this as more of a dishonorable mention because we feel like this is just unbelievably dangerous, Yeah, is the float and grill from the pool episode, or one of the pool episodes. Yeah. It's the newest pool episode. Yeah, and this is one where uh, it's just a grill that's basically on floaties and it just floats on your pool while you're in the pool. But I can just imagine, like, having that in your pool and playing and not realizing that it was, like, on and kind of coming up behind you. And, yeah, that I just doesn't seem like a good idea. And also that your hot dogs would get, or, like, what you're cooking would get soggy. Yeah, too, you, you'd you'd be splashing around. Yeah, yeah you're just going to splash water on it, yeah. so... Anyway, so that's those are our honorable mentions. So now let's get into the top ten cool, not cool items ever. So um, we wanted to not just include items that got super cools on here. So you're going to see a few on here that did not necessarily get all five cools, you know, from the group. Um, and actually, one of them I think only got a three out of five. Yeah, one of them only got a three out of five. And I think number nine there, I don't think that got a super cool either, did it? It did. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm forgetting already. But anyway, let's get into it. Okay. So, number 10, So no, Number 10 is an item that Corey brought in Overtime 13, and that's Game Box. Now, the reason I really like Game Box is because I think it's super cool. I play a lot of video games, and I think this would, like, I would play with this a lot. It's a little briefcase, then it opens, and there's a TV on like one side and then right here is like a playstation with controllers and games and stuff and i think that's like really convenient and cool if you're like traveling or something yeah it would be cool to use like even like on a camping trip or something yeah. if you could find out a way to power it i guess all right number nine and this was one that i think gabriel and i both agreed on should be in the top 10 yeah. we liked this immediately and that's the fried chicken ice cream from uh kobe in ot27 we just, we felt like it, it really looks like fried chicken and you're expecting to bite into something that tastes like chicken and then it's vanilla ice cream in the middle. We just thought that yeah. seemed really cool. Um, for some reason, I guess I wasn't remembering that this actually got a super cool, but 
sometimes with things you eat, it's that sense of surprise, you mm -hmm. know, that, that really make them fun. So, and I love, we love the fact that it actually came in like a, a fried chicken bucket too. Yeah. And it looks really good and yeah. it has a, and it has a chocolate, uh, like a hardened chocolate bone, which looks good. Yeah. Just the whole thing all the way around. Very well executed. So number eight. So Gabriel. number eight is a combination of two things and it was... This is a Christmas episode from Overtime 32. Corey got it for Garrett, but they all voted on it. And it is a purple Christmas tree. It would actually be kind of cool by itself, but also a remote control tank, which is like even cooler. That's pretty much the reason why we put it on here. And the tank is super realistic and it shoots, so that's cool. It actually shoots. Yeah. And I we watched this and we, uh, Garrett's reaction is really funny when he realizes that it actually fires stuff. Yeah. He's like, it shoots! And then uh, they all give it a green. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, number seven? Yeah, number seven. Okay, number seven is one that I know did not get five. No, likes. it got only three out of yes, five. Yes, this is, this is one that only got three out of five. I just there's something about this one and maybe it's the fact that I grew up with a really tiny little television myself but it's the tiny TV from Kobe in OT30 and some of you might be like oh you know that was just that was silly it was stupid but I had I had a little yeah okay I'm gonna date myself here for a second I had a, a boom box a radio oh. that actually had a little tiny television in it that I got for my 13th birthday that I loved when I was nice growing up boy. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, I turned 13 in 1990, so I'm, like, right on the edge. So, I loved it, I watched it all the time, and I don't know, I just, I thought something that was, and this, the tiny TV was even a lot smaller than the one that I had. It's like, it's like this big. Yeah, it's got, like, a one-inch screen, which, I don't know, I just, I, there's something nostalgic about that, I thought it was really cool, I liked that it looked like an old retro TV, so... I kind of made Gabriel put that one yeah, on the list. Yeah, that was his idea. I didn't really <laughs> want to because I didn't think it's that cool. Yep. And it only shows Dude Perfect, so. But the rest of these are really cool, we promise. Yeah. And starting with number six. Number six. Probably an underrated item. It's actually in the title of Overtime 5. It was brought by Kobe, and that's the world's most powerful laser. Now, I think this is really cool. And it's because it pops balloons when you shine the laser on it, and it also lights matches, so it can, you can just bring it on a camping trip, and if you can't make fire, then just shine it on a match. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's kind of convenient, too. Yep. And it's cool, because, and it's really bright, too, but I still think it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, we both, we both agree that this one, this was kind of a no-doubter that it should be on the list. Yeah. So number five from OT thirty three, Mark, the special guest on that episode. Mark Rober. This yeah. is the giant T-shirt cannon, and we had to give this one some extra props because this was actually kind of this looked like kind of a homemade thing. Yeah, it was um, created by Mark Rober. Yeah, and like it was just real. I mean, they went out to the parking lot at what SoFi Stadium. Yeah. And, you know, this is they filmed this I think right before the Super Bowl. And, I mean, they were shooting these things, like, what, 100 yards, couple hundred yards, yeah, probably, at really least? Yeah, really far. Yeah, and it looks, it looks cool. It, it does look it, homemade. It looks like a cannon, like it, an actual yep, cannon. Like an old, like a 17th or 19th, 18th, 19th century cannon, which is pretty cool. So, all right. Number four. So, number four, this was, like, probably a no-brainer also to be on our list. This was from Overtime 9, Tyler brought it. And it is the grappling gun. So it like gives me Batman vibes. But <laughs> the grappling gun is cool because, you know, it shoots and it's really sturdy if you shoot it on something that won't break. And you can swing from it and it's, it's loud too, but I think it's cool. And it's probably, I mean, you probably can't find it a lot of places. You probably just find it on like Amazon or something, but... Yeah, I mean, I, these things aren't, they're not like super uncommon but I think part of the reason why we put this one so high is we felt like we could picture Ty really practicing with it a lot before the show yeah. and, and getting really good at it. And his execution on it in the video is just perfect. I mean, he hits, well, I'm, they might have had some edits in there, but he appears to hit his first shot every time, which is cool. All right, top three now. Number three is from OT4, Ty, again, with the net gun. And we kind of felt like this was pretty cool at first when he first pulled it out, but then they had this little remote control uh, Millennium, Millennium Falcon. Falcon that was flying around, 
and he shot it at the Millennium Falcon and it took and it, it kind of wrapped it in a net and took it down immediately and the guys just went crazy when that yeah. happened. So And then they also like shot it at people yep. and they shot it at a basketball and it was cool. Yeah, and we felt like this was this is a really cool item, but it's almost also high, this high on the list because of the reaction to it as well. Yeah. All right. So number two. Number two. Definitely so a favorite for both me and this Gabriel. This didn't get a super cool. It got a four out of five because this came in the same episode as the grill gun, and this, the guy said that they couldn't give it back to back super cools, which is dumb because this is amazing. And it's actually a lot better than the grill gun. Yeah, which is not on our list. Spoilers, but. From Overtime 21, Cody brought it. It's the Dude Perfect Sand Art. This is so cool because it's so, like, detailed and fine, and it's made of, like, individual grains of sand. And they made the Dude Perfect logos, like, that big, and then they made, like, a cool picture of all five guys. So, this is amazing. It's really cool looking, so it's number two. Mm -hmm. Number one. Our number one in the top ten cool not not cool items of all time cody from overtime for 17 <laughs> not 14 17 cody from overtime 17 do you know what it is of course it's the robot dog yes. number one how could we well gabriel and i both love dogs but how could we pick anything but the robot dog i mean this thing was just amazing they were they were they were pushing it and it was sort of immediately reacting and walking just kind of like almost like a normal dog would. Yeah, and it's it can dance too. It's just so cool yeah. looking. You know, and we were, I mean, yes, it was something that it's probably extremely expensive and some of you might be like, oh. I've seen you know. it in a few videos. It's like $20,000. Yeah, some of you might be like, oh, well, you know, of course, you could just buy anything. Now, we do want to say though, in our defense, we did not put anything in this video from the Break the Bank episode which i think was oh, about 12 yeah over time 12 because yeah. that's kind of like cheating because i mean all four got a super cool all four items got a super cool one of them being like the ex exotic car lease where like cody gave the guys like lamborghinis for a year and that and that probably would have been our number yeah, one. yeah but the, i mean it's not fair because all no. four of those items would be on the list yeah yeah so we didn't we didn't want to make this all about overtime 12 so Number one, Robot Dog. We think it's amazingly cool. It's cool. Um, we know that you'll agree to disagree with this list, and we hope that you do, and certainly put your comments down below. We also want to give you guys uh, a little shout-out now, because we've had definitely a lot of growth in our videos and our channel recently, and thank you guys so much for that. Um, our videos are getting a lot more views than they used to, just kind of organically. You guys are discovering us, so thank you. And uh, Gabriel, you got anything else to say? Nope. Okay, we'll say go Rays as well. Go Rays! They're kind of stinking right now. So, all right, we hope everybody's well. Take care. We'll see you soon.